In the north of Sodor, there's a small branch line. It is known by many people as Toby's Branch Line. The line itself is named after the engine who runs the branch line, Toby. He's the only engine who works the line, and is accompanied by his faithful coach, Henrietta. At one point in time, the line was rather popular with people. However, as time went on, the once loyal passengers began taking buses. To add to that, the lorries had become more widespread and took away any form of goods for the railway. This made Toby very sad. However, he had hope that things would turn around one day. Early one morning, Toby and Henrietta were preparing for the day's work. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day. I can't wait to get started. Why are you so cheerful? As per usual, there will only be a few passengers on your branch service. Oh, come now, Henrietta. Uh, Toby, I'm going to be real with you. The branch line is not going to improve. Uh, the branch line may not improve, but I know that there's hope for us in the future. Or we'd be turned into hen houses. I'm sure it wouldn't come to that. Anyways, we'd best get started. Toby and Henrietta had arrived at the platform. The sun had begun to rise, however, not many passengers were there. I hate to say I told you so. Well then don't. We should at least be grateful these few passengers are here. In fact, I see a familiar face right now. Hello, Mr. Thompson. Mr. Thompson had been a resident of the line for many years. He was also a regular passenger on the branch line. Well, if it isn't Toby, how are you? I'm good, sir. Ready for a hard day's work. Uh, enjoy it while you can. What do you mean by that, Henrietta? The branch line is going to be closed, and we'll most likely be turned into hen houses or forgotten about. And I keep telling Henrietta that while the line may close, there's still hope for us in the future. Ah, you're always the optimist, Toby. Anyways, I think I agree with you. While the line may close, there will always be a place for you to. Thank you, sir. Anyways, you'd best climb aboard. Mr. Thompson boarded the train. Toby rang his bell and set off. One thing Toby loves about his line is the scenery. His line was beautiful and tranquil which he preferred compared to the hustle and bustle of a harbor. Eventually, Toby arrived at the end of his line. He sat in silence for a while, he listened to the sounds of the birds chirping, he hoped that he wouldn't lose this peace and tranquility. Father, where will we be headed for our summer trip? I'm not sure, Charles. We could always visit that town, Brendenham? You mean Brendam, Barbara. And unfortunately we can't. It would be rather crowded. I want to go somewhere nice and peaceful. In that case, I've heard of this lovely little line up north. It's rather small and terminates at Arlesborough End. I've heard about it, although I also know passenger numbers are decreasing there. Oh, can we go, Father? Oh, I don't see why not. We'll go there by car and take the train to Arlesborough End. They all agreed on the plan and went back to the manor. A week later, they left to go on to Toby's branch line. So Topham Hatt was intrigued to see a tram engine at the head of a train. Father, look at this engine. This is a tram engine, Charles. Is it electric? Well, I... Shh, I think you offended him. But a friend of mine said trams were electric. There's something known as the Volks Electric Railway. Some trams may be electric, but this is a steam tram. An LNER J70 to be precise. Yes, indeed, sir. I was the prototype for the class. May we ride it, Father? Of course we can. What is your name? My name is Toby, sir, and this is my coach, Henrietta. Anyways, you and your family best step aboard. Sir Topham Hatt and his family boarded the train, and Toby left on time.
as he traveled along the line, he was still upset at Barbara's comment. Electric indeed! Electric indeed! Oh dear, have you suffered a bruised ego? Very funny, Henrietta. As per usual, Toby arrived on time at Earlsdale End. Ah, Toby, I'm glad I get a chance to speak with you. Ah, Mr. Thompson, I'm sorry we didn't get to chat. There was this gentleman with his family. He took an interest in me. Oh, how nice. What was his name? Ah, uh, yes, his name was... Ah, Toby, I wanted to thank you for such a smooth run. My wife and children have already gone inside the station, but I just wanted to thank you. Well, thank you, sir. Ah, you must be the gentleman Toby told me about. I'm Albert Thompson. Ah, pleasure to meet you, Mr. Thompson. I'm Sir Topham Hatt. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Hatt. I apologize for interrupting your conversation. I just wanted to thank Toby for such a good run. He always ensures a good run. <coughs> Are you alright, Mr. Thompson? I'm fine. Just a little tickle in my throat. There has been a rise in pneumonia cases. Are you sure it's not that? I haven't had time to check it. Oh, Mr. Thompson, you really should go get checked out. It may not just be a tickle in your throat, as you say. Uh, I'll get it checked out tomorrow. After all, it is my day off. Uh, I hope you do get checked out. Anyways, we're staying at a cottage around here. We'll be off for now. Good day, Toby. The two men walked off to the station building, and Toby went back to his shed. The next morning, Toby noticed Mr. Thompson wasn't at the station. Oh dear, where's Mr. Thompson? He did say he was going to the doctor's to get checked out. I suppose you have a point. Ah, Toby, glad I'm able to catch you here. Good morning, sir. How has your holiday been so far? Very enjoyable. We're going to the small little fair at the other end of the line. I've heard about that. My driver took his children there last year. I see. Well, my children were wondering. Could they ride with the guard today? The guard, sir? Yes, my children were rather keen on doing so. You wouldn't mind, would you? Of course not. I would check with the guard, just in case. Of course, Toby. The guard agreed to let the children ride with him. The children had enjoyed it immensely. The next day they got to ride in one of the empty wagons. However, on the last day, Toby allowed them to ride in his cab. However, Toby was rather sad when the last day came. So today is really your last day? Yes indeed it is. As much as I would love to have an extended stay, I have a railway to run. Understandable. You can't be kept away from your railway too long. Indeed. Anyways, thank you for the smooth runs, Toby. Goodbye, Toby. We'll come back again soon. Sir Topham Hatt and his family walked away to the station building. When they were out of sight, Toby's face fell. In the evening, Toby and Henrietta were chatting. Toby? Yes, Henrietta? You know, I haven't seen Mr. Thompson around lately. Hmm, you're right. I do hope he's okay. <sighs> Me too. Early the next day, Sir Topham Hatt was standing outside his manor. Topham, is something wrong? You're never up this early. Ah, uh, yes, Jane. Well, I was thinking. That tram engine Toby, he was a kind chap. Come to think of it. We may need another engine to help with the workload on the Farquhar branch and... Excuse me, sir. You're wanted on the telephone. Hmm. I wonder what that could be about. Hello? Ah, yes, Sir Topham Hatt. There's been an incident on the Farquhar branch, and we need you to come down to Knapford straight away. Well, what happened? Well, Thomas had a run-in with a police officer and... Stop! You violated the law! Ah, yes, um, I'll be down there straight away. I'm sorry, Jane, but I need to go to Knightford. Thomas has had a run-in with the police. Oh dear, well, 
Take care, Topham. Meanwhile, on Toby's branch, his driver stepped into his cab, although he looked rather downcast. Driver? W what's wrong? Well, Toby, the thing is... Today is the last day for this branch line. Uh, oh, oh dear. H how terrible. And... And what? Last night, Mr. Thompson had passed away from pneumonia. Toby felt like a brick had been dropped on his boiler. I... I see. Toby, I'm so sorry. I know you two were close. I, indeed we were. Anyways, we'd best get ready and put on a brave face for the passengers. If you say so, Toby. Toby and Henrietta prepared to take their first and last train of the day. Goodbye, Toby. We are sorry to see you go. We'll miss your smooth runs. Thank you. Thank you all. Toby left with his train. As he did, he wept for not just his railway, but for Mr. Thompson. In the evening, he went back to his shed. Well, Toby, this is it. It was nice knowing you. Indeed it was. Goodbye, you two. Toby went to sleep. However, he was surprised to see his driver standing right in front of him the next morning. Toby, there's a letter in here from that stout gentleman to Topham Hat. Maybe it's good news. Indeed it was good news. Toby had been purchased by Sir Topham Hatt to work on the quarry for Thomas's branch line. He and Henrietta had gotten fresh coats of paint. Henrietta was painted into an orange color, and Toby had even gained a number seven on his side. At first, Thomas was jealous. However, as time went on, he came to realize how useful the tram engine was on the branch line.